what is up welcome back to another vlog it is a very rainy and gloomy tuesday but we're gonna make the most of it i've actually got some plans later to go to a baseball game tonight it's opening night for the winston-salem dash which is a minor league team i guess for the chicago white Sox. and i love going to the games and it's opening night and it's also my best friend's birthday today so we got a big group together to go to the game but i'm hoping it doesn't get rained out i think it's supposed to stop at like three o'clock so i'm praying that it stops and that we're able to go but i did a little morning routine montage of some clips i made my greens made coffee read a little bit then i did my skincare brushed my teeth i also tried some new dry shampoo which i'll show you guys a little bit later i made a quick little breakfast which was just apples and peanut butter because i am never Never hungry in the mornings i don't get hungry until like noon or like one o'clock but i'm trying to make myself start eating in the mornings even when i'm not hungry so i just had that then i sat at my desk and made a little to-do list for the day so it's gonna be a pretty busy day of working but then also some pleasure so i'm excited so if you guys saw i think it was not my last video, but the video before that, I did a huge Sephora sell haul. But I went again and got so many more items. Like they gave me this huge bag because I bought so much. And I wanna show you guys everything that I got. This is gonna be like my Sephora haul part two. I actually did post this stuff on TikTok. So if you're not following me over there, Make sure you follow me over there because sometimes I post content that YouTube doesn't see or you can get like early access over there. But I've got a lot of stuff. Tis the season for the Sephora sale. I love it. The best time of the year, I get 20% off. And I was actually able to save even more money using the sponsor of today's video, which is Prime Opinion. So Prime Opinion is a website that allows you to take surveys in exchange for money and gift cards, which who doesn't want? basically free money. It's super easy to sign up. It's super easy to use. It's quite literally the easiest way to make money. Whenever I'm taking surveys on their website, I just feel like I'm literally getting paid for free because it's so easy. And as long as you have a little extra time, which let's face it, most of us do. You can do it in a waiting room when you're at a doctor's appointment or something. You can do it when you're getting a pedicure. You can do it when you're just sitting on your couch watching TV. And I know years ago when I was in high school and didn't really have a lot of income during that time, me and my friends would take surveys on different websites, but they were so sketchy. Um, probably shouldn't have been doing that. And honestly, they didn't really work that good. Like I wasn't earning that much money, but I just know that it was something that me and my high school friends like to do. And my opinion is definitely hands down the best website for earning money on surveys. They are not sketchy at all. So like I said, their website is super easy to use and it was a really quick sign up process for me. Their website is a user-friendly interface. They have a high number of surveys available 24 seven. They also have high survey payouts at a low redemption threshold. There's a high welcome bonus for new users, great additional income via streaks, levels, achievements, and a weekly leaderboard. You can earn additional money via these features on top of what you already earn with these surveys. The payouts are instant. They literally take less than in two minutes via PayPal, Venmo, ACH, or via hundreds of gift cards available. They also have a 24 seven live chat support managed by real people. The website also tells you exactly how long each survey will take, which is a feature I personally love because then I know exactly how much time it's gonna take and exactly what I'm getting into. After signing up, I immediately got 200 points with the welcome bonus, which equals $2. So if you guys wanna turn your extra time into extra cash, make sure you check the link in the description to sign up. So Prime Opinion also gave me a bonus code to give to you guys, that is Hannah 10 This code will allow you to earn an additional 10% point for each survey completed. I believe you have to use that within the next seven days though. To use the code, you just need to go to more and then redeem bonus code and enter Hannah 10. Something else that I wanted to add is during the sign up process when choosing your welcome bonus, I suggest choosing the middle option, which is what you guys can see me do because it is easier to reach the threshold that way. I love that Prime Opinion has a PayPal option because I am a PayPal girly. I also really appreciate a gift card here and there, but PayPal is just a great way to transfer money to ensure that your bank information isn't getting stolen. It's just super safe, super easy. And so I always love when websites have the PayPal option. That way, you know, you're getting your money without getting scammed. With PayPal, it goes directly to my bank, sitting there waiting for me, which also just felt like free money that I could use 
during the Sephora sale. So a huge thank you to Prime Opinion for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. So with that being said, I'll show you guys everything that I got from the Sephora sale. Like I said, this is my part two. If you guys wanna see part one, I'll have the video linked down below, but there actually might be a part three, but I'll probably mention that stuff in my next collective haul. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. So I got two items from Patrick Ta. This is the cream contour and powder bronzer duo in She Sculpted. And then I also have the blush version in She's That Girl. Here is the bronzer. I already have this in She's Bronzed. But this one is the cool tone version of that shade. That one's way more warm. But I just wanted a cool tone one. Anyways, here's the blush that I got. I think this is my third one. Not of the shade, but my third shade in this blush duo. I just love it. I'll have all these products linked down below, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. But I did a whole... LTK post on everything that I bought during the Sephora sale. I also got two of the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I had to get two of the mini size because they were sold out in my local store of the big size. And I've just heard such good things about this product that I knew I was gonna like it. And I thought might as well take advantage of the sale and get 20% off while I can. So I got two minis and I've already tried this and I love it. I've also already tried the blush and bronzer. I've been wearing them all weekend. I also got a Makeup by Mario lip pencil. This one's in the shade Pink Peony, and this is my new go-to shade. I freaking love it. It's just like a really pretty, bright, mauve pink. I also wanted to try the new Say Slip Tint Radiant All Over Concealer. I got this one in the shade 2, which is very light, but it works for me because I'm very light right now but I like a really, really pale and light concealer for under my eyes. I like the brightening effect. I also got the new Kosas Dream Beam Sunlit Sunscreen Bronzing Drop thing. This stuff is so, so good. I've literally used it every day since getting it. This is better than the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops, and this has got SPF in it, so it's amazing. I wear this under my skin tint or foundation or even on its own. I love it. I also got the new K18 Air Wash Dry Shampoo. I used this for the first time today. It is wet, so that was a little weird spraying it on my head, but it didn't make my hair frizzy or like curly or anything, which normally water would because my hair is naturally curly. But definitely feels like there's some product in there, but it doesn't feel gross. I also don't think there's a white cast, so I'll keep you guys updated on this. I also got a new Fenty lip gloss. This is in Fuchsia Flex. It's this really pretty sparkly pink. I saw that on TikTok and I was influenced. Then I got the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Luminous Blush. Haven't tried this yet. Maybe I'll try it today. But this is just so gorge. So gorge. I got a Touchland hand sanitizer because this got me in the checkout line. I was like, oh, I need another hand sanitizer, totally. And last but not least, I got two hair products. This is a shampoo, this is a conditioner. They're both by the brand Kerastase, or Kerastas, I don't know how you say it. Uh, but they're from different lines. So this one is the Blonde Absolute Hydrating Shampoo for like blonde hair, but it's not like purple. I do have the actual purple shampoo from this brand and really, really like it, but this one's just like a hydrating one. I got a sample of this or like a mini size with my Sephora points a few months ago and loved it. So I thought I would get the big bottle during the sale just because I like to switch my shampoos so frequently. I have like five different ones in my shower right now because I'm just constantly switching them out so my hair doesn't get used to it. And then I wanted to try this conditioner because I used the leave-in treatment from this line. This is the Resistant Strengthening Anti-Breakage Cream. I don't know, these don't go together, but I'm sure they will work fabulously together since they're the same brand. That's everything that I got. It's my Sephora Cell Part 2. I'll have all the products linked down below. And now I'm about to get back to work because I have a lot I gotta get done. Just responding to emails and just some last minute video things for my video that goes up tomorrow, which is my Lululemon haul. So it is a little while later. I just did my makeup and I changed again just cause I have to film another video. And then shortly after that is when the baseball game starts. So I guess this is what I'm gonna wear to the game. My filming room is a wreck, so I'm sorry about that but I've got this green halter aligned tank with this white opal scuba oversized full zip hoodie 
and my ribbed lines. Normally I dress a lot cuter for these games, but it's so rainy out and everybody else is wearing like athleisure. So that's what we're going with. I'm also gonna wear this hat that I mentioned in my Revolve haul. It's linked on my Revolve favorites, but I'll also have a link down below. But this was the inspiration for the outfit. I really wanted to wear a hat just because of the weather in case it rains, my hair's gonna frizz up. My hair's also very dirty. So I just went with this hat and then found this tank that matches and this jacket. So kind of cute, but update on the air wash shampoo. I actually love it. Like I'll take this off and show you guys. My hair honestly doesn't look a week old and it in fact is six days old. So it feels really nice. It doesn't feel like flaky or doesn't feel like it's got that cast or thickness or that grit that normal dry shampoo has. I don't know if that made any sense, but I love it. Like it feels super clean. It feels like I just washed my hair. This is not an ad. I actually really love it. So I will have it linked down below, but I'm still gonna wear this hat just in case it rains as I'm walking. Um, also update on the blush. I have it on right now. I layered it with another Patrick Ta one, but this is super, super bright. I actually really like it. It needs to be toned down a little bit. I need to like blend it a little bit better because she is shining. I'm also wearing the Makeup by Mario lip color, but okay, I am a wreck right now. Like I have so much going on. <laughs> um, I gotta film a video. It's gonna be my Lululemon closet tour. It'll be up by the time you guys see this video. So that's probably gonna take me a while to film. I've got the whole setup happening. I've got my ring light. I'm gonna get my boyfriend to help me. It's gonna be a fun one. It's Michaela's birthday. Yay! She just got here and we're about to go to the gate. So excited. And we have a few others meeting us. So it'll be fun. I'll vlog on my phone. I don't know what we're doing after. We might go play pool. Whatever the birthday girl wants to do. So Yay! I'm so excited. It's opening day. We love baseball. <laughs> for this atrocious angle. I am on my way to get a facial. I go every like six to eight weeks, but I'm going back a little sooner than I normally do because I'm trying to line it up with my trip to Europe because I wanna get in one more facial after this one before my trip. Anyways, I'm on my way there. Last night was fun. Uh, the baseball game was good. It was really low scoring. Like that was probably the worst baseball game I've been to. Then we walked to a bar to play pool because that's what Michaela wanted to do for her birthday, but the pool table was taken. So then we went to another bar, played a game and went home. I was just like so tired. Everybody else had to get up early for work. So it was an early night. I don't know what was up with me. I was like, not in the mood to drink. I didn't finish a single drink that I got the whole night, but yeah, it was a really fun night. I look very glowy right now. I told her I was struggling with some hormonal acne like on my jawline and on my chin and stuff But she told me my skin looks really good and not as dry as it was last time and then it looked really good. So That's good news. I gotta go to Pilates in Like 10 minutes. I need to leave but I'll show you guys my outfit I'm gonna wear these socks. They're from Pila bar I think something like that, but they're super cute. I've never worn these pair. I have the shorter pair and I've worn those a million times, but the bottoms have little hearts on it. They're so cute. But before I go, I'm going to take a ginger shot. I actually made these myself. Well, my boyfriend Luke helped me. He actually did most of it. I bought a juicer off of Amazon and so far so good. I'm going to take this real quick. I hate taking these and it honestly kind of hurts my stomach, but health is wealth. Cheers. 
Mm. It burns the back of my throat bad. I think he used a little too much pepper. They're honestly not terrible. It's just the, the spice. Okay, <laughs> last sip. Done. Mm. Here is my Pilates outfit of the day. I'm wearing this Align strappy tank that I mentioned in my last Lulu haul with the matching ribbed Align. So I got these a while ago. Not the most flattering since it is a white set, but yeah, anyways. And then this crew neck I got a few months back. I don't know if it's still available. And then my Pilates socks. They don't match the sweatshirt. I'm just now realizing that, but it's totally fine because I'm not gonna wear this sweatshirt during Pilates, just to and from. So that's the fit. Estimated that class. I'm shaking. My legs would not stop shaking. It was embarrassing. <sighs> I had my favorite instructor today. She's my favorite because she's by far the hardest. But holy crap. I was trying not to sweat because of my facial, but I was covered in sweat. I burned a lot of calories for a Pilates class. I'm gonna be so sore. Now I'm on the way home. Should only take me a few minutes to get there, but it's five o'clock traffic, so. Yeah. I'm back home now. Thankfully, I missed traffic, so that was good. But I'm snacking on these from Trader Joe's because I have not ate enough today and I'm starving, but it's only 5.20 and I don't want to start cooking yet, but I'm going to make dinner later. I've got some green beans that need to be cooked, some chicken that needs to be cooked. Today's the last day and then I'll probably do some mac and cheese with it, but I got to start editing. So I'm going to do that. Luke came over and is going to help me. <laughs> I say help, but he's going to do this. He's going to make some ginger shots so i'll do like a little time lapse of him doing it yeah i just got some ginger from trader joe's and then you need a lemon well half a lemon i got these from amazon the juicer from amazon and some cayenne pepper i'm probably going to use a little bit less this time So I've been editing. Luke went ahead and got a head start on dinner. I'm gonna do chicken in the air fryer. He seasoned them with Cajun, salt and pepper, and did you do garlic powder? Mm -hmm. Okay, no garlic powder, but that's going. Got these green beans. I think I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer. I kinda wanted to season them with like garlic powder and stuff, so I don't know how that would be up in the microwave. All right, I'll figure it out. Also got mac and cheese. Okay, this is an insane amount of mac and cheese. But anyways, the green beans look a little burnt. Hopefully they're good. Luke said they're good. It looks good. So it is a little while later. I literally have been sitting at my computer as soon as I finished dinner. It is now almost 11.30. Kind of crazy. I've been editing this video for so long. I literally started at 5.30. Took about a 30 minute break for dinner. Then got right back at it. And I think I'm done for the most part, but it is my Lululemon closet tour. So it's already up by the time you guys see this video, but I have to shower and then get into bed. I have to get up early for a dermatologist appointment, fun stuff, but I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna end it off here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel below and click that bell. Don't forget to check out Prime Opinion and use my code Hannah10 when you sign up. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I will hopefully see you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys.